In this video, we'll be doing a container runtime installation and a specific container runtime, which is uh, CRI Docker D. Uh, yes, we have done similar installation in day 27 video of CK series where we did uh, the container runtime installation for container D. So this will be a similar task. It just will be just installing that as per the new CK curriculum. It is one of the important questions. So I thought of covering it. Hello and if you are new here, my name is Piyush and this is CK 2025 series where we'll be covering end to end all the scenarios, all the questions and all the topics of Kubernetes Docker as per CK 2025 new curriculum. And this is video number 53. So uh, in this video, uh, let's go ahead and let me just share my screen and then we'll jump right into the demo. I'll be using a uh, playground known as killer coda i'm sure you will be already familiar with it and it's uh it's of course free to use so you can do the hands-on as uh, by following the video and as we go along so killercoda.com and uh, you can go to killer shell csa that's the link and i'm just gonna click playground the reason why i'm choosing this platform because this is similar to uh, what we have in the exam right so all the dependencies all the configurations uh, will be same as the exam so that we don't run into any configuration issues right okay so let's just check uh, our kubernetes cluster is healthy or not yes we do have two nodes up and running it's using version 1.32.1 we now have version 1.33 but i believe ck they are still using 32.1 okay so uh, this is the GitHub repository that you can follow and this is what I have created because uh, This is what I've tested as well. So it's it works fine, right? So first step is to ensure your docker is installed and running on your system by running system CTL status docker and as it says docker is active and running. Okay now the next step is to create a docker group this is uh, like for the new docker setup if you are just installing docker this is for that so i'm just gonna skip this step now the next is to download the latest or any particular cri docker d debian package from the official github release page so that's the official release page okay and over here as you can see there are different versions so we have version uh, 3.18 which is in pre-release so we'll select something that is um uh, so there is the latest version you can use that or i'm gonna use the previous version so let's use 3.16 and click over here assets and i'm gonna copy da, 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 let's see um uh, I, I need to copy the debian package for let's let's use this one okay so i'm just gonna copy link address okay i'm gonna go to our playground and do a wget on that package so that the package will be downloaded Okay, it's downloaded. Now to install the package, what I have to do, I have to use d package command dpkg hyphen i and then I have to pass the command. So in the exam, this package will already be there installed in a particular directory. You just have to start with the installation. Okay, so this is what we need to do d package and it says uh, install setting up and it created sim links for the services and so on. Okay. Now let's go back over here and we have installed it. Now it says enable and start Docker D service. Okay, so we have to um, make sure the service is uh, started and also we need to make sure that service is persistent throughout the reboots of the machine. So whenever there is a node reboot or the cluster restart, the service should still be running. The service should start on the system reboot. Okay, so for that we need to run this command system ctl enable now cri docker service okay so i'm gonna run this first system ctl enable hyphen hyphen now and the service name is docker hyphen cri dot service is this the same name yeah cri hyphen docker dot service sorry my bad it's CRI hyphen docker. Okay. And use the same command just instead of enable now, replace it with start to start the service. Okay. And let's check the status now. 
okay it says active it is working fine and triggered by cri docker dot socket and this is the c group here are all the details as well okay you can just uh, put your arrow arrow keys you can use your arrow keys on the right and see if there are any errors or not if not you are good to go now in the exam uh, this is not the entire step they will ask you to configure the system parameters as well for example these system parameters will be given to you so these are the parameters that are there at the kernel level so you need to make these changes okay so you can create a temporary file inside this directory etc system ctl.d this file could be of any name and add all these details over here again these details will be provided in the exam so i'm just gonna copy this command and i'm gonna run this hit enter okay now to make the changes to apply these changes for now just we have created the file now we have to apply this file we have to apply the system uh, parameters at the kernel level right so this is we need to run sysctl hyphen system so sudo sysctl hyphen hyphen system okay now you can see all the changes uh, will be there for example this one these two changes we just made and uh, ip forward as well so all and IP six v six tables as well. So these changes we have just made and it's already there. So uh, yeah, so this is done. Now we can just do system ctl sudo system ctl reload daemon. Oops, daemon. Uh, did I make a mistake? Let's see, daemon reload. Oh, I need my coffee now. Yeah, it was a long day for me. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. So that's it. I mean, uh, if you have done till here, that's it. And there are some other steps where you can verify if everything is working fine or not. And from this command, you can check the logs because it is running as a system CTL service. So you can use general CTL tool uh, to check the logs of a particular service. Okay, for example, CRI Docker service. So hit that and you will see all the logs over here. If you face any errors, it will be visible over here. All right, so that was the task that I wanted to cover. It was a quick video. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with the next one and have a good day. Happy learning.